I call the honourable member for Longman. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Immigration and Border Protection. Will the minister inform the House how many days since the last illegal boat arrived? What factors have contributed to that success? I call the honourable minister for Immigration and Border Protection. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the member for Longman for his question. It's not, an, it's not a question those opposite tend to ask me in this place, Madam Speaker. On that side of the House, they have no real interest, it would seem, in how long it has been since there's been a successful people smuggling venture uh, to make it to Australia. And I can inform the House that it's 67 days. That's how many days it is. Now, 67 days as of today, 64 last Friday. And the reason I say that, Madam Speaker, is because we have not had a consecutive period where there has been no successful venture like this until before the previous government got rid of the policies that worked under the Howard government. The measures that we have put in place, Madam Speaker, are working and they are stopping the boats. And the lead measure in those matters, Madam Speaker, is what we're doing at sea. It's what we're doing at sea, and I'm not going to rely only on our own um, experience in this, Madam Speaker. But I'm going to make reference to Gillian Triggs. I'm going to make reference to Gillian Triggs, who said today that I suspect that the real cause of the capacity to save lives had been the stopping of the boats in the physical sense. And we know what she's referring to, Madam Speaker. She's referring to our policy to intercept vessels that seek to illegally enter our waters and for us to remove them. This has been the watershed policy, Madam Speaker, that has been responsible for the success we have seen over the last 67 days. Those opposite, Madam Speaker, like to refer to offshore processing, but those opposite had to be dragged kicking and screaming to offshore processing, Madam Speaker. And now they talk about it as the cornerstone of their policies. It was the only stone, Madam Speaker, they had in their policies, the only stone they had, and they had to be forced to put it back in place. Now that measure remains important, Madam Speaker. It remains important. It is a backstop measure for any potential measure that may happen to get through. But for 67 days, Madam Speaker, that hasn't happened. And the other measure, Madam Speaker, relates to temporary protection visas for those of the more than 30,000 the opposition now who in government left behind to this government. And those opposites still to this day are seeking to frustrate, frustrate frustrate the mandate of this government to remove the possibility of permanent visas for people who have come to this country illegally by boat. They, they betray themselves, Madam Speaker, but this government is not going to be intimidated, intimidated to walk away from our policies. We're not going to be intimidated by the weakness of the Greens or the double-mindedness and hypocrisy of the Labor Party. We're not going to be intimidated by any violence that occurs in any centres anywhere or at sea. Our policies are working, Madam Speaker. They are stopping the boats, and our resolve is absolute. 